This Star Wars Destiny video is sponsored by Face to Face Games Toronto. They're currently running a special promotion for VTTV viewers. If you spend more than $100 on an order of Star Wars Destiny cards, you can choose from one of the three legendary cards displayed on screen right now to include in your order for free. If you spend $200 or more, you will receive all three. Face to Face Games is selling everything from Awakenings and Spirit of Rebellion singles, to Spirit of Rebellion booster boxes, to full Saga sets for both Spirit of Rebellion and Awakenings. Anything you could possibly need to round out your collection. So either email them directly at Toronto at facetofacegames.com or visit stores.ebay.com slash facetofacegamestoronto. Face to Face Games will ship to both the US and Canada. A link to the full details can be found in the video description, and don't forget to tell them which promo you'd like to receive and that VTTV sent you. Thank you for supporting VTTV Live. Hey everyone, this is VTTV Live. I'm Victor. I'm Travis. And what you're watching right now is round one of six of a recent Revenge of the Sixth Spirit of Rebellion release tournament at Face to Face Games Toronto on May 6, 2017. So on the left, we see uh, Richard playing the Menacing Vader Raider deck. And on the right, it's VTTV's own Travis. Yeah, with a, a deck that I kind of came up with. The night before, I haven't done a ton of reading about uh, the Spirit of Rebellion spoilers. I really wanted to kind of learn about the cards when I was opening the box. So it's kind of a, a homebrew, uh, which I have kind of since refactored uh, quite differently. So we see, Travis, actually, that it, you are playing the elite version of IG-88. Uh, the notable thing about his character is that he has no resource side. Uh, and you are also playing one of the new battlefields, uh, secret facility. So what does that battlefield do? So it lets you resolve uh, three dice with damage, either ranged or melee when you claim. So yeah. it was a way, because this deck is playing with a lot of both ranged and melee damage, I thought it might be a way to get, to, to claim out quicker and to do uh, a big hit, where some of the problems you have when you have two types of damage is you can only do a little bit of damage, you won't be able to finish someone off in one blow. I also had the Ascension gun, so I thought I might be using it even if I wasn't using my own ah, battlefield. Interesting. So I think Rich was scared of that battlefield, so he decided to go first. Uh, went with the Imperial Armory instead. So uh, this being a, a tournament right after the release of a new set, obviously we're going to see some variations on some established decks here. Uh, Force Choke on Vader. Obviously there's some builds of Vader Raider that are a little bit more controlling rather than aggressive. Uh, I suspect that Rich's build might be one of them. And of course, I see two mind probes in the in Rich's hand as well. Uh, so I like uh, rolling out IG early, knowing if I'm going to have a special to play around. Um, also, it gives you an opportunity to, particularly if he doesn't have any dice, to get some damage in before he has a chance that he doesn't like you. Uh, it's a brutal first roll by Rich here. Yeah, Oops. he has a few of those. <laughs> so... Um, I know before before the start of this uh, recording, you were talking about how uh, IG-88's die wasn't all that uh, useful, especially when you're rolling. You know, the one of those faces on IG-88's die is the shield, the two shields we yeah, have to a, there's a one, for. So there's a two damage, two range damage, three range damage, one shield, uh, two shields for one resource, and then his special side. And his special side, you resolve to play a, a, a weapon or an equipment from your uh, a yellow weapon or equipment from your discard pile for two less on IG, and, and that yeah that two shield side the resource you never have it. Uh, so it looks like uh, Rich decided to focus on IG. Um, probably just worried about the sort of the unknown quantity of the power of his character dice. Trying to take that out of the equation first. Uh, rolls out a three for one resource side on the Tuscan Raider, and then you decide to focus on the Raider first. So uh, I haven't played against Vader Raider all that often. Right. Actually, it's been a while since I played Destiny myself. Uh, which which character do you generally go after first? I, I think you really should go after Vader, particularly if he's starting to build on him. If they're really making an effort to build on the Tuscan and you feel you can take him out, out with some upgrades on board, then it's worthwhile. I, I don't know why. I, I start with the Tuscan too often mm -hmm. just because I like to kind of clear it off the board. Um, but I don't think it's really the right way to approach this matchup. 
Yeah, getting rid of any die is always useful. However, you know, while while that Tuscan Raider is being focused down, uh, that gives Rich the opportunity to just keep stacking upgrades on Vader. And uh, a late game Vader is not all that easy to deal with. No. So it looks like Rich retained control of the battlefield. You, of course, had played a backup muscle to pour on the damage on the Tuscan Raider. Second force choke. Yeah, this was a lot of fun to play against. <laughs> uh, yeah. So note that he's rolled a special once so far. Mm-hmm. Um, out of one roll. And that first turn for you, didn't see really you putting any upgrades on IG either. No, it was uh, electroshock and uh, getting up the backup muscle. Okay, so those are decent damage showing there. I think that's the two, both are two damage sides. Yeah, I just described the there. Ascension Gun uh, for Vader's ability. And then here I have enough damage to finish off the the Raider. So I, I do that before you can roll out and potentially pay. Uh, oh, no, I switched targets. Oh, interesting. Oh, no, sorry, I had enough to do both. Ah, uh, okay, yes. So it looked like it was. Oh, no, you didn't. So it was, you did. So I'm maximizing my damage. I put two and two uh, so I can finish him off with the backup, the backup muscle. muscle. Which could come back to bite me if he, you know, yep. he can't roll out the big damage because he doesn't have a resource to pay for it, but he could get some use out of that dice by discarding a card. So decides not to discard a card here, uh, instead sacrificing the, the Tuscan Raider. So, yeah. oh, I think just, he I'm just letting you know that he's saying, dead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, so actually, this is uh, seems like a favorable trade for you. Uh, IG still has seven damage left on him uh, for Vader to chew through, and meanwhile, you have uh, both your characters still still healthy. Yeah, uh, feeling not too badly. I mean, Vader's got a couple upgrades on him. I don't really have any of my characters built up. Uh, now that being I'm, said, having both backup muscles in play, uh, where you only have to deal with one character, and you have a Tuscan Raider with effectively 10 health here. Right. I think things are looking really good for you. Uh, so um, we, we were able to take a look at each of the, the players who were on camera. Uh, they were kind enough to give us their deck list. So I do know something about Rich's deck, and it just seems very... It seems much slower than than some of the Vader Raider right. builds. Right, and I remember with. talking with Rich, and he is a little newer to the game. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, here's the second four choke. Um, so I don't know what his card pool looks like. I mean, some of this may be dictated right. by the cards that he has. I don't imagine he's done a ton of net decking or online research. So I, I, he knows enough to know that Vader Raider is a thing, but I don't know if he is like all in on the meta. So I claim here to play the Ascension Gun on uh, the Tuscan. Uh, he re-rolls. Looks like a disrupt side there. Yeah. And then pays one to switch that to, or not, but he plays now. Now you die. Now you will die, rather. Uh, to resolve that disrupt side as though it were a melee side. Yep. Uh, with a value of two. So now IG is sitting on 11 damage, hanging on by a thread here. Of course, you have the first action next turn, so it's quite possible IG will be able to get one last hit in yeah. before he dies. And I discard the cunning knowing it's going to be of no value once IG's off the table. I don't have any... The Ascension Gun is not good enough to save for the special. So, so there, there are a lot of Vader Raiders here today. It was kind of the most popular deck. I think there are five players who are playing Vader Raider. Um, after that, there was a lot more variety. Um, a few people were playing the Snap uh, Maz Padme Mill deck in some variation of Elite Dice, either Elite Snap or Elite um, Elite Maz. You were playing that deck, right? Yeah, I think I, I think a lot of uh, people saw the cards, the hero cards in Spirit of Rebellion, being very favorable for yeah. the Mill deck, and so uh, there was a lot of excitement to see how that build shook out. I think here, I, I don't know if I had a Gaffy stick in the discard. Um, I was considering if I had something that I could play and redeploy or... So, so one of the upgrades you have running in your IG-88 deck, I think it's armor plating, which is, right. of course, a yellow equipment. So there is a potential to basically get two free shields onto IG-88 when you roll his special, provided you have the armor plating in either his your hand or your discard pile. Just Just the discard. Yeah. So you chose to resolve the damage there instead of the special, uh, and then 
Rich uses that opportunity to finish IG-88 off. So right. now it's just a choky Vader versus a Tusken Raider. Which, uh, I, it's not that bad. I mean, the Ascension gun, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. It being a new card and everything. Uh, it does have two damage sides, if I remember it has, correctly. Yes, it does. Yeah. It has two, and then I believe a f- focus? Man, I, I still don't have all of the uh, the, the weapons in my head. All the cards from Spirit of Rebellion. I think it's uh, I think it's two uh, range damage size focus discard. Yeah, discard <laughs> side. It's the two discard for one resource, and then of course the special side. And the special side lets you resolve the claim ability of the battlefield that is not in play. Yeah. So there's another battle. Uh, sorry, another uh, backup muscle resolution there. Uh, Vader now has seven health remaining, I believe. Of his 13. Yeah, I think I'm just using these first in case he decides to do something else with his uh, force choke. I know it's not likely, but... Now, I know that one of the strategies is sometimes you can force choke your own character, but it does have to be a character that the force choke is not on. So, unfortunately, he can't use it to turn Vader's dice to a damage side. So now you're just kind of holding off, hoping that <laughs> he just he just burns his uh, force choke there before you roll out the Tusken Raider. Yeah. You do, you always do have the option of discarding a card to resolve uh, a good side before sure. he's able to force choke it out. Yeah, and I, I think uh, this was the first game of Destiny I'd played in a couple months. Uh, Victor and I have been doing a lot of production work, both for Destiny games, Netrunner games. Uh, we Covered the PTL Open recently for X-Wing, so we haven't played many games, but figured we really needed to kind of get back in the swing of it if we were going to be any any use for commentary. <laughs> oh, I guess you guys can tell us whether or not we're doing a good job. Yeah. Uh, so it looks like Rich just went ahead and resolved the Force Choke, and now the road is the door is open rather for you to roll out Tuscan Raider. Looks like uh, a two ranged. I think. Maybe Rich wanted to do something before that. No. Oh, I see. This, this is, is this is me. This is me saying. Oh, okay. I got. I was waiting so long. I completely forgot. Forgot to put the gaffy stick out. I said I won't change the dice that I roll. Yeah. Uh, but are you okay with this? Uh, I really should. I probably shouldn't have done this, but he had no problem with it. Yeah. So th- this tournament is just like it. It's not a sword championship. It's not even a game night kit. It's just something that. Uh, face-to-face games wanted to do yeah. for the community. Well, they're, they're giving away... Set. Yeah, they had a promotion. If you ordered a box from them, you would get free entry to their tournaments for yeah. the month. So I think most people were, were free-rolling in this tournament. Um, and there there was a um, Spirit of Rebellion product. There are a number of packs that were up for grabs. Mm-hmm. So I think I think first place got uh, 18 packs. Um, yeah, a Spirit of Rebellion, that's a yeah. sizable amount. I'm going to give away a box and a half worth of product, maybe. Or maybe, maybe just one box. Uh, there are 27 players that uh, that showed up for the event. Okay, so Rich, uh, using the opportunity to claim the battlefield to play a Mind Pro, so that's one Scary Vader. Uh, Travis, you discard card, reroll dice. Looks like just one damage face. Yeah. One damage, I think, on the Ascension Gun there? One damage on the Ascension yeah. Gun and two other... Uh, a resource and uh, looks like a disrupt. So, of course, one of the one of the potential pitfalls of playing a monocolored deck, even with two sets out, is that sometimes you're you're forced to play upgrades which may not harmonize with each other. Right. So, of course, the gaffy stick I think is a lot better when you have an entirely melee damage focused. Well, uh, so list. The, the reason I got ended up with gaffy stick was I can special out. Things under IG, but he was likely to be the first target. So it was the only yellow upgrade with redeploy. So uh, it's like, oh, I can get it onto IG, and even if he dies, it still helps me after his death. So it's kind of that the whole series of events that led me to go uh, maybe a bit more melee heavy, playing flamethrower over jetpack. Um, and as I've kind of evolved that deck, to kind of continue and going heavy on melee. Um, just because it gave access into some of those redeploys. So here's a big roll by Rich here. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> his uh, his dice are not cooperating with him this roll. Uh, keeps landing that Force Choke special, though. He does. And a two-disrupt side, 
which uh, might spur you to do something in response. Yeah, it makes me feel like I should spend some money. Looking at that armor plating and thinking if I should. It just it Spend. feels bad because if, if I if I spend one, he's going to disrupt two. two yeah. I can lose my access to my electroshock. So now this is a fully protected uh, Tuscan Raider. Of course, force chokes are able to get under the shields since that damage is unblockable. Yep. Although uh, Rich uh, decides he's going to reroll four dice there. Uh, again, another special side with the f- two specials with the force choke. Yeah, I'm feeling great about this. So n- normally in an aggressive Vader Raider deck, I'm not a big fan of Force Chokes, but they seem to be holding your Tuscan Raider at bay quite a bit. Yeah, and the fact that I can activate one of my dice right away it helps me work around that a bit. Uh, but I'm still like, oh, whatever I roll, he's going to get rid of everything. So here's a roll by you. Looks like a discard side, ranged, and a melee side. So yeah, two uh, melee is kind of the best option there. Yeah, it's the it's the one it's the one. Uh, Black melee set on the gaffy stick, I believe. So, I'm not sure if this is you deciding whether or not you want to discard a card to resolve some damage here. Again, Vader has about, uh, looks like six, seven, eight. So, Vader has about five damage left on him. So, any opportunity to, to, to push some damage right. through, you know, kind of uh, force um, Rich to maybe play a little bit more defensively. And so, that's what you are going to do. You're going to pay. One resource for two damage there. So puts him to ten. Invader. Three more to go. There's one more on the backup muscle, so it's kind of putting a two damage a die with two damage now. It will finish Vader off. Meanwhile, it looks like Rich has a total of seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven damage he has to push through. Of course, the uh, two force choke damage are going to be unblockable, so those are able to slide under the shields. Yeah. But with the rest of his melee and range damage, he's going to have to chew through the armor plating plus the two shields that are on your Tuscan Raider there. Yeah, unblockable damage is, is really kind of a, a problem. Um, you know, force choke is a minor nuisance. Vibro yeah. knife is a much bigger <clears> issue. <throat> uh, having, you know, shields on your character, armor plating, and there's still nothing you can do about the eight damage they roll, uh, finishing someone off instantly <laughs> Absolutely. is... <laughs> a bit frustrating. So there's a there's a rich uh, forcing you, I think, to discard a card to reroll by yeah. activating the two force chokes. So now your Tuscan Raider is sitting on three damage under his shields. Um, now I probably would have uh, maybe resolved one force choke at a time, as uh, that way you would have to discard two cards if you wanted to. If you say you got a better side instead of discarding one, right? Because I think you were going to discard. Now, now to their side was particularly damage, like yeah. maybe you want to get rid of the damage. I don't think you really <clears> care <throat> about the discard. So uh, Travis, you rerolled there. It looks like one range on the Tuscan Raider plus a uh, focus on the Ascension Gun. Uh, could focus that actually into the three melee damage, which. Yep. No, I think actually that finishes off Vader if uh, it would. if he doesn't have any control. Of course, he rolled a two disrupt, which would uh, put a hamper on your plans there. Right. Yeah, and, and feeling not too bad. He doesn't have the Tuscan, so he can't play that he doesn't like you in his hand. Yeah, and let's um, not forget you still have one damage remaining on that backup muscle. It, it looks like I'm. I, I thought to myself yeah. here, just get some guaranteed damage. If I reset this die, it's not that hard for him to control it somehow. Um. He's already playing something kind of controlly, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had something else in his sleeve. And I, I, I would have to say, this game, Rich's, uh, Rich's Vader dice have not been cooperating with him. They've not been showing those melee damage sides consistently, which I see a lightsaber throw in Rich's hand. So lightsaber throw is that card, I think, costs one. And uh, you can only play it if you have a melee side showing on one of your dice. Yeah. And I, don't, I can't remember if it's your blue dice or any of your dice, but uh, it does deal two damage to a character. So we just pay for three damage. Uh, that I discard the armor plating and one shield to deal with that. And then this is you claiming the battlefield here, and uh, yeah. I don't think you have anything to play from your hand. So with me going first and him only, I, I was saying that I think he really has to discard here and try for the god roll. Yeah. Because all you all Vader needs to die is just one damage. Well, now you have the, now he has a shield, so it's going to be two damage. 
Still, I don't think it's that hard with uh, Tuscan Raider plus uh, right. plus the two upgrades. If you're lucky I mean, enough to roll the, there's the only one rate. side on each of the dice that will kind of finish it off yeah. here. Um, so not the most, not the best odds, but still very possible. And looks like there's two damage on that Ascension Gun. So I'll discard a card to do the last two damage and, and finish him off. I mean, it could have very easily, like, the, the Tuscan has some life left, but it could very easily have gone the other way with just a few more damage dice, a few more like, melee dice out of Vader. So yeah, that was a game where uh, I think Variance was a little bit on your side there. Uh, just a couple of money lucky rolls on Rich's part with Vader, uh, coupled with you being able to take down his Tuscan Raider by turn two. Um, of course, you eventually traded for IG-88, right. but I think at that point, the Tuscan Raider on your side was well suited up and able to finish Vader off. Okay. Uh, and just to note, uh, both these deck lists will be uh, linked to in the description of the video. So if you're interested in reading more about either of these lists, uh, please check that out. All right. So uh, going on to round two. See you. Don't forget to check out the Face to Face Games Legendary Madness promotion. Find the full details in the video description.